You know, I was there in Bentonville in October of 2005 when Lee outlined all of our different sustainability goals, including development of a 25 to 30 percent more efficient prototype. And our stores are already efficient. They always have been. Energy is our number two operating expense, so we've been focused on it for literally decades. But to stand here today in Wichita, Kansas, and know that we have met, in fact, exceeded that goal, already two and a half years into that four-year time frame is really exciting. Not only in our stores, but in buildings in general, there's the potential for an absolute revolution in terms of radical energy efficiency and carbon reductions. If every building in the U.S. reached the same goal that we're about to reach, the 30 percent more efficient goal, it'd be equivalent to taking nearly a hundred million vehicles off the road. Not to mention saving billions of dollars on our energy bills. The key to achieving all this has been integrating our systems and using existing technologies in new and innovative ways. Historically, the refrigeration system, the HVAC system, or the air conditioning and heating system, and the lighting systems, those have been viewed almost as siloed areas. The concept of the HE is to integrate those together to see what value we can pull out of an energy stream that perhaps started with refrigeration and may end up with heating. The refrigeration units down in the floor, as they collect heat from the product, it's pumped up to the central pumping system and then is either rejected outside on warmer days or if there's a demand in the building, it's recirculated to the various rooftop units that we see here and put right back in the store. The refrigerants themselves represent a pretty significant uh, global warming potential. So in the AG program, we reduced the refrigerant footprint by 90%. So that's a tremendous savings from a refrigerant standpoint, from a global warming potential standpoint. One of the most visual aspects of the HE store is the daylight harvesting system. As sun comes up in a bright sunny day, we have controls that slowly dim the lights down to where they're no longer needed. That avoids about $50 million a year in utility costs, so it's a pretty big deal. One of the great features of the HE store is the LED lighting that's in these low temperature cases. The LED lighting saves about 50% electricity over conventional fluorescent lighting. It saves about 50% refrigeration load. And the life cycle now just about exceeds the life of the case. Walmart is believed to be one of the largest private purchasers of electricity in the world. Yet we still only purchase a fraction of 1% of the energy produced in the U.S. today. So with all these things that Walmart's doing, as great as it is and as impactful as it is, it's really going to take a lot more of people getting involved for us to get to where we need to be as a country and as a planet. That's why we've created the SEAT program or the Supplier Energy Efficiency Program. What we're trying to do is take the learnings that we've developed through HE and retrofit programs and make those available to the supply chain and affect a much greater footprint than our